Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. Colin, it is Saturday and now it's Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. Hi Colin, it's Saturday. See, Alex watches. Although now is Saturday, so you wouldn't be wrong. It's currently Saturday. Colin, Alex watches. Colin, you have just been greeted by various members and coaches of the Laughing Aardvarks improv team because we had two shows last weekend and they were pretty fun. But unfortunately, today's video is going to be more introspective than funny. And I hope that you enjoyed that part because it's probably the only part you're going to laugh at because the rest of it's kind of deep and serious. And okay, let's just get to the serious stuff. Colin, I'm just going to give a brief follow-up to your last video and say that, yes, you're right. When I say feminism versus egalitarianism, it's semantics. And we're all talking about the same thing. We don't want to use the same labels for it because the labels scare us. And like your socialism example so clearly pointed out, this is true of a lot of things. Again, as you pointed out, the heart of this isn't what we're calling the thing, it's how we're responding to the problem. And honestly, we're starting to get a better response to this problem. I truly believe that more and more people are becoming aware of this problem and are actually acting positively to do something about it. But Colin, today the question I want to ask you is this. Why have we and so many other people around the world chosen to talk about this specific issue? Is it because many people are feeling the negative effects of it? Is it because it feels manageable, like something that we can easily solve and pat ourselves on the backs for and feel good about? Is it because we're too afraid to look at some of the bigger, heavier issues that we're actually facing right now? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's one of these things, or maybe it's a combination of all three. But I think that it's important to look at our motives when we look at solving issues like this. Obviously, with an issue like gender equality, the obvious answer is that we need to make the genders equal because there's absolutely no reason for them not to be. But when there are so many problems in our world, how do we pick which ones that we're going to focus on? I mean, Colin, you and I are lucky enough to live in a time where we have any number of crises that we can pick from to talk about. Net neutrality? Gender equality? World hunger? Impending environmental catastrophe? The crushing weight of student loan debt and debt in general? The far-reaching effects of globalization? Whether or not Apple is better than Android or Windows? How I'm going to pass AP Physics? These are all important concerns for our generation, and there are so many more that I have left out here. And Colin, I gotta be honest with you. I think about everything. But I genuinely cannot stop myself from thinking about these things, because if I stop thinking about them, I feel guilty. My problems are so minor in comparison to those of the planets and our civilizations, but they're still important to me. They both have weight. I am unable to balance the micro and the macro world, and I don't think that I'm the only one. I think that we all experience this to some degree. And I think that we need to think about these things, and we need to be aware of them, because if we're not aware of them, we are not going to care about them, and we're not going to be able to do anything about them and make the world a better place. So when I ask what our motive is for looking at gender equality, the answer is obvious. We want to fix this problem, we want to do what we can as whatever force we have to make the world a better place. Colin, all I know is that there are many problems in this world and they are going to be very difficult, if even possible, to fix. I do not know what the future holds, but Colin, I know that it's going to hold us talking about things and trying to make the world at least a little bit better. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday. And as always to our viewers, thank you for watching.